Oh, you scared me. Whoa. Oh. Hi there. What you just saw was a fake prank. Don't you just hate fake pranks? Well, hi, my name is Brian, and welcome to Things I Hate. Today, we're going to be talking about fake pranks. Play that intro. Everybody, welcome back to things I hate. So today we're gonna to be talking about fake pranks. Okay, so pranks on YouTube started like two, three years ago, or maybe more. There was like trolling and games, and then pranks in public. Now the only prank I did was go to Burger King and ask for a Clash Royale. If you want to see that, check it out right here. But yeah, let's get on with the video. So I don't hate pranks at all. Like they're really funny, but I just hate fake pranks. Like I don't get the point of doing fake pranks. Like just do them normally. Pranks you see nowadays are entertaining, but they might be fake. But yeah, the prank you saw before the intro was fake, and in the intro, it was fake as well. Here's a blooper from the prank. Yeah, it was funny to make. The guy's not an actor, he's my friend, and here's a clip of me thanking him. Thanks for being in the video, man. Thank you. So let's get back to pranks. Now, I did say I was going to do pranks and stuff, but... I just didn't have time. Like honestly, real pranks take a lot of time to film. You have to go to lots of people and do the same thing over and over. But if you do fake pranks, it will be quicker. How do I know this? Well, the prank I did was really quick to film. I'm talking about the one I did in the intro. Like, it was fake, obviously. It only took us like five minutes to film and the guy was my friend and he was with me. So yeah, usually YouTubers censor the person's face so they will be like, oh, the guy didn't want to be in a prank so you can't find out who he actually is. But then there's a YouTuber called The Prank Reviewer. What's up guys, The Prank Reviewer here and today I'm gonna expose the Brian videos. He did a prank recently, he beats up a guy in the park. Now it's fake because you can clearly tell by by the skateboard. I reached as a skateboard's logo, no fear. Is that a symbol for something? No fear of doing pranks? But then you guys helped me and I actually found out what that meant. No fear is a company and they make so many things. For example, as you know, they do skateboards or clothes or even headphones. Now, why did I say that dramatically? Well, if you go back into Brian's videos, you can actually see No Fear headphones. I actually went out and bought a pair to compare them. Here they are, look at the picture, they look exactly the same. Yeah, as you can see, No Fear, just like the logo on the skateboard. Mm, yeah, that's it, exposed. Guys, I'm just joking, I have nothing wrong with the prank reviewer. He's actually smart to find out everything, like the prank is fake and stuff. So yeah, check him out, the prank reviewer. I'm gonna take this off, they, I think they messed up the green screen a bit. Yeah, look, sorry about that. Anyway, let's get back on topic. In the previous episode, I talked about drama. If you wanna see that, check it out here, yeah. Now, as I said, drama isn't a good way to get yourself more popular, but neither are fake pranks. Like, it's so easy to expose someone if the prank is really fake, like, you, you can easily tell. But let me give you an example. If you didn't know, Sam Pepper was a YouTuber and uh, people got angry at him. Now, he did fake pranks and it, they, they were all shocking and stuff, but the reason for this is... Sam's videos stopped getting lots of views, so he decided to do, like, other people. He saw other people doing fake pranks, so he decided to do them as well. He did one as a test and so it was alright, but the fake prank he did was really shocking and it got lots of views and uh, people hated on him. The most recent fake prank he did was the best friend shooting prank. But then Sam explained himself on drama alert and everything is good now. Okay guys, don't be confused, but I forgot to film this in the green screen, so I'm doing it now. It's like three hours later I filmed the video, I forgot something. Another example of fake pranks is prank invasion. Now, if you don't know, he does lots of kissing pranks. Now, I saw this in the comments a lot. Who's the prank on? It's on us. There is no real prank behind it, it's just fake. Like honestly, all he does is go up to girls and kiss them. Also, he's been exposed by the prank reviewer. Check it out, type in prank invasion exposed. So yeah, fake pranks are bad. Like honestly, the titles are just bad. Pranks gone wrong, arrested, cops called, like what? Alright, let's go back to the green screen. So yeah, I don't like fake pranks for this reason, is that 
you can easily get exposed for them. As I said, the only prank I did was go to Burger King and ask for a Clash Royale. That was real. If I actually do a real prank, I'm gonna tell you guys in that video. So yeah, I hope you like this new setup kind of thing. I'm talking about the green screen. Like, literally, I can put anything I want behind me. Look, look at that. How's that? How's that? And how's that? What the hell? Anyway guys, I hope you're enjoying things I hate. I really like making these videos. What should I talk about next? Tell me in the comments below. I always read every comment and reply. I don't know what the next episode is going to be about, but I have lots of ideas. For example, bad grammar, haters, and my clone. What? Just a prank, bro. Just a prank. Wow. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I am Brian. This is Things I Hate. Thank you guys for your support recently. Thank you to my friend who helped me make the intro. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.